Hello Fluff fam, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a groceries haul and then a mukbang. But this is not your average grocery haul. This is a holiday groceries haul. What makes it a holiday's grocery haul? The fact that none of it is like food, it's just snacks. But normally I do a Walmart pickup or something like that for actual groceries, but we just went to the store to get stuff for holiday festivities. So I kind of want to do a little haul, show you guys what we got. And then we also got Cafe Rio and me and Dal are going to do a little bit of a mukbang after the haul. So if you guys are new, make sure to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And let's get started. First off, we bought a ton of graham crackers because we are gonna make gingerbread houses, but not like the kind that you buy in a box. We're gonna make our own with graham crackers. And then that also leads into, oh, more graham crackers. We're doing it with Dallas Nelly. So we got a, a box of graham crackers per person. Wow. <laughs> um, where's the other stuff? Yes, okay. So that's why we got icing. And there's some other stuff. More icing. And we got M&M's to decorate, some caramel kisses just for me to eat because I like caramel, and then some Hershey kisses for decoration. Going along with treats, baking powder because I'm making cookies. Uh, but also, after I decided I'm making cookies, I found a sugar cookie mix. So we might do like this verse homemade sugar cookies and see which one tastes better. And then for that, we got red, white, and green wow. cookie icing stuff that you put to decorate cookies. And we have an ace. I just bought him at the store. Um, I need to like put all this away first. A nice pantry. There is no method to the mountain. Except the cereal in the top left. Yes. That's they're, about it. They're too tall to put anywhere else. I will say originally there was like organization, there's just not anymore. Energy drink section. We have laundry detergent. I'm just kidding. We were out, so we got some. So my favorite drink at Starbucks is an iced chai with pumpkin sweet cream. So if I put these together with Zora, I'm giving I'm giving a tutorial. With milk, then that's how you make the drink. It's really good. I'm gonna make that. I also am gonna try it with the white chocolate mocha and see how that tastes. So that's what all that is for. And then for just a quickie, we got Red Bull. So this is my caffeine section of the shopping. All right, next up, we just have snacks for no reason. We just walked down these aisles and was like, yes. So my favorite snack, Chewy Chips Ahoy. So good. Dallin likes the, what are these? Sea salt and vinegar chips. I think they're gross, but not up to me. Dallin also got the Cheez-Its. Oh, and the toasted. I like the toast. I'm glad. Extra okay. toasted, actually. And then I hate some chips, so this is definitely Dallin. And I got the um, kettle cooked mesquite. Mesquite? Mesquite. Why is that a thing? Mesquite barbecue. And they're so good. Now for something kind of healthy. I got some avocados and oranges. <laughs> and then um, I, we also got this candle the other day and I was gonna light it. That was the whole situation, but I didn't. So I'll just um, give it a little sniff. Why are the cats so obsessed with the food? The and they're so soft, and always. Then, last but not least, I got Sprite because I love Sprite. And that is my holiday grocery haul. Um, I found an ace in our <laughs> bags cabinet. <laughs> and welcome to Mukbang. All right, so if you haven't heard of Cafe Rio, You're it's missing out. so good. It's like Chipotle or Kidoba. Kidoba's my favorite out of the two. Um, but it's like homemade vibes, if that makes sense. They've sweet, pulled sweet pork and it's so good. Um, there is Costa Vida, which is like the same, but Cafe Rio is the best out of the two. I've never had Costa Vida, but I love Cafe Rio, so. So, no need to try it. <laughs> Wait, let's take a bite first. Let's crack that cold one first. Mm. Oh, that hits different. Does it? I haven't had Mountain Dew since we like left Missouri, so this is great. I haven't either, actually. It's very sugary. It's mm -hmm. so good, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to talk since it is a holiday mukbang. Yes, it is. What are you most excited for for Christmas? For Christmas, seeing Santa Claus. I'm still trying to catch him. Really? Since, <gasps> since I was born, like, yeah. I've always put out the cookies and milk every night, and I'm really? still trying to catch them. Okay. 
Same family. Honestly, I'm super excited to go back and just to be a visitor for Christmas because yeah, we've never really we've done never that been before. the visitors. So when I was little, we would go to Virginia and see my mom's side of the family for Christmas. So I was always a visitor then, but I was like under six when we did that. <laughs> so like since I was six and older, I've always done Christmas. We did Christmas Eve at my mom's and then Christmas Day at my dad's. Then my mom moved to South Carolina and last year was the first Christmas that we didn't do that. And it was the first Christmas we were engaged. So everything Whoa. was a little crazy. We did Christmas morning at his house and then Christmas afternoon at my dad's. Then we went back to his house for lunch, and we didn't see my mom last Christmas at me. Really? No, we did But my wedding was like, our oh, wedding yeah. was the month We saw after, her like yeah. right after that. This Christmas, I've already explained it, but we're gonna go home and then we go to my mom's after Christmas. So that'll be fun. But yeah, it's weird, because this is the first time I've ever been away for holidays, because last time I moved to Utah, it was after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. after Christmas. Yeah, I've always just been an at-home Christmas guy. Mm -hmm. Canada's too far away to just go for Christmas, you Yeah. Know? Wow, this chicken is really like stuck together. This might be the best burrito I've ever had. Then I put like extra meat, sauced it up. Well, what happened was there was this dude training somebody who's first day on the job for sure. The dude training him made Sid's burrito. First day on the job made mine. <laughs> so it's a little messy, but gets the job done. Probably still better than how I would have made it. I mean, can't argue with that. <laughs> Ever since I was like 12, None of my siblings have all lived together because one was always old enough to like move out basically and then everyone just slowly has moved out in a way. So Christmas is like really the only time it's like Christmas and weddings that we all get to see each other mm -hmm. at once. Like I'll visit my brother or visit my sister, but everyone all at once is Christmas and it's so fun. Christmas! We love Christmas. I took the biggest bite as soon as you started saying that. I was like, just mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like the past two years or so, Christmas hasn't really felt like Christmas, if that makes uh -oh. any sense. And so I wasn't really excited for Christmas this year. I was kind of dreading it, honestly. But the closer we've gotten, the more excited I've gotten. I don't know if it's because we decided to vlog this, so it's like we're in the spirit, and like we've been decorating trees, and since we're actually going home for Christmas, it's, like it's not like, oh, Christmas at my house. It's yeah. like we're going somewhere for Christmas. I will say the thing I'm most sad about for Christmas is yeah. not having our entire family there. We're gonna leave our cats. Our cats and our snake are staying and our here. Snake. But we're gonna have our cousins take care of them. <laughs> it's so sad. I don't even think we saw them on Christmas last year because I Probably spent the not. night we at were. your house Christmas Eve. Well, yeah, the, wait, did Ace not run away when your door was just open that night? I had Zora too, neither of them ran away. Really? Yeah, last Christmas, I've already talked about it, but brief summary. My door was just open because I left it unlocked, so. Uh, no one went in, it was just like it flew open. So I spent the night at his house on Christmas Eve last year. I like how you get a bonus salad over here. I love that they give you the bonus salad. Like That is a fat burrito, like that is the size of my hand. I think that's the biggest burrito I've seen. It is so big. Man, you're really, you're gonna have seconds and thirds with that. I don't know, I haven't eaten today, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> I'm barely into, you're like halfway, I'm still like beginning bites. <laughs> and other news, I'm sad because we won't be able to stream as much this month. Mm. But in January, we're going to stream like every day. Minus the days we don't though. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> That's how it always works. We're streaming okay. every day except the days that we don't. Honestly. That's our stream schedule. So what are your guys' Christmas traditions, New Year's traditions, and what are your New Year's goals? Oh yeah, we need some of those, huh? Yeah. Because like, once we have kids, we'll kind of start doing Christmas tradition stuff. Until then, we're just kind of vibing, pretty boneless. <laughs> but, we want to hear everyone's Christmas traditions, so if there's something cool that we like, then we'll do it with our kids one day. Honestly, that's a good idea. I'm glad you asked. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I think that's enough for the mukbang. I just want to eat and not Me too, talk. and I'm, I'm getting full. I'm so really? Glad. Already? I'm like fair enough, through fair it. enough. So thank you guys for watching my holiday grocery haul and then our <laughs> little fun bang. It's kind of hard to film since we're doing vlogmas, so I'm gonna kind of just get videos in here and there where I can fit them. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.